Good morning. Um, we're going to start continue on with uh, refurnishing, uh, refurbishing the uh, the Winchester ninety four. Um, so what we're going to do is uh, we we took it apart in big pieces yesterday. Um, so what we're going to do today is I want to take it apart and um, to smaller pieces so that I can soap them. Uh, there is some rust on them. Uh, and it's grease and etc. And what I want to do is I want to uh, get them as clean as I can, um, and then scrub them down real good with uh, with uh, stuff and uh, and bloom so that they'll look nice. Obviously, we're not going to get rid of all the pitting, but you know we can polish down uh, uh, a good part of it anyway, so it'll look nice. So what I got is the stocks, and what I'm going to do is uh, this is a uh, we've got alcohol on it. So some denatured alcohol, and I'm just gonna try to rub them off. They they look really good. I mean, to the point where I'm almost concerned that there might be a coat of polyurethane on here. Um, if you, I, I would say there's polyurethane on here, which um, is a pain in the ass uh, to uh, get that stuff stripped off. I mean, it's good stuff that lasts. And I think that's probably why the stocks look so good um, when the rest of the gun is all rusted and dirty uh, is because of the polyurethane. Um, I've been asked to uh, change the color of it. Um, so, and besides there's some, I don't know what the hell kind of spots those are, they're eaten into it. So we're gonna have to take it off to refinish it anyway. So um, anyway, so I rubbed it now with alcohol. And now I'm going to put stripper on them, and you don't need to watch me do that. That's a, uh, just painting the uh, orange stripper again, the uh, citrus strip. And we, um, and this, because it's probably polyurethane, I'm probably going to leave it on most of the day. And uh, they say that some of it you can, and, and I've done this too, where you could leave it for 24 hours. Uh, the problem is that it will evaporate and, um, and dry. So what you need to do is take it and wrap it in saran wrap and you can leave it for 24 hours and uh, and do that but I've, d I've done it once and i did not do a good job wrapping it in saran wrap and i had a bunch of dried stripper and that stuff was a real bitch to get off so anyway but i'm gonna go take care of this and then we'll come back and we're gonna work on taking some parts apart and and, and soaking them okay thank you all right, I'm back. The, um, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take uh, the little parts, make them even littler, so that we can clean them and we can uh, and take off any of the rust that might be on there, so that we can re-blue them and, and make them look pretty. So first thing we want to do is we're gonna do the finger lever. It's held together. You can see through here. Shine some light through. Anyway, it's a it's it's hollow through there because what it is is a screw. It's been all day. There it is. The um, it's it's a roll pin. Um, everybody's used to the pins, solid pins that you you hit and and it comes through and stuff. These are roll pins, and the roll pins are just what they say. They're they're rolled piece of metal, and what you do is when you put them in, they hold tight. You know, they don't they uh. More so than the uh, the regular pins because um, they're they're kind of uh, a springy thing. So so what we're gonna do is we're going to take the uh, this pin out and uh, so that we can soak it. And uh, I can't do it on top of here because it's it's uh, plastic. And it, it just won't do. So I'll have to use the bench to do that. So I have my uh, bench block. And I have, oh shit, I know we're not going to do that right now. It's uh, still too early in the morning. Uh, um, I don't want to wake up my wife. Uh, I, I mean, it's late in the morning for me. It's uh, quarter till six, but uh, I, I, I don't want to wake her up. So we're just going to let that go. The uh, next thing that we can work on now that's quiet is we can work on the bolt. This is the bolt. It's very similar to the uh, 
pre-64 pre and the uh, 64 volt. Uh, what we have here is the firing pin and it falls out. You see, how come the firing pin falls out? How can that be good? Well, it is because, see that little notch? And you see that hole right here? That's the where that pin goes through that moves the, the bolt back and forth. So it goes in, and the reason it's got a notch is so that it can move, you know, to uh, to strike on the, the thing. So it uh, so this is the fire pin. What I have is I have hoppies in a in a container, and I soak all my parts in hoppies. Hoppies it does good by me. It takes off any grease and oil, and and takes off some rust too. So I like to use it and, and let it soak in there. Also on the bolt, you have this up here. I'm not going to take it off, but right up here, you can see, is the extractor. So what happens is when the, uh, let's see if I have a, I don't think it's a 30-30 round, but it'll work. What you have is it uh, when the round is pushed in, it hits the, the, the opening to the chamber and we'll show it at some time here on the receiver is a little notch where the uh, extractor goes into and the extractor holds on to the bullet so that when you pull it out after it's fired it'll pull it with it now right underneath it is the ejector there's the ejector right there and that's on a spring okay. so what happens is you have your your extractor holding onto the round like that you pull it out and the, the spring bounces it for a long time I, I don't know why but I couldn't wrap my head around how can something eject from the top you used to eject it from the side it ejects from the top because the ejectors on the bottom and it pushes up on the uh, the round when it comes out so that's that is the bolt it's at an angle in the back where the uh, the firing pin goes in there. It is at an angle because what we've got is, and we explained a little bit about it yesterday, you have, this is also at an angle. This is your locking bolt. It comes up and it sits there and it holds the, the bolt in place. So it has to be an angle so it will slide and get in the hoppies. Okay, this is your locking bolt we've talked about already. It comes up and it holds the, the bolt in place when it's fired. Over here on this side here, there's a, there's a thing in the middle here. I don't know what the name of it is, but what it does, it goes back and forth and it allows the, See, it shoots forward. It uh, what it does is it uh, when the the hammer hits this, it shoots through and it hits the back of the um, the bolt where the firing pin is and hits the firing pin to cause round. So it's kind of a chain reaction. This is the the uh, locking bolt in the hoppies. You hammer. The serrations down here for where the uh, the sear fits. So when you cock back your hammer, it's uh, the sear, which is part, of, which is really in, in most cases is part of the trigger. And what it does is it holds the the hammer like that. So the way it lets go, boom, the hammer in the hobbies. You carry. We talked about the carrier yesterday. This carrier, it looks a little bent. I don't know. Um, maybe maybe the Post 64s. I have a Post 64, but I'm not gonna take it apart to check. Um, it sits on a spring. There's a spring that sits up inside here, which causes it to, to go up and down. So that when you uh, when you hit your, your, uh, your lever back, this, thing, this spring pops it up and pops it up 
and I'm just heading around. I know it's not a. I will use it. It's not a. I don't know what this is, but it's it's already when the, when the, you push the handle down uh, back and it closes the bolt and stuff. This goes down, and when it goes down, the spring on the magazine pushes the round back up against the carrier. So that when you open the handle, it pushes it goes the springs up like that, and it and there's a space in the back here where you, the bolt's already in the thing, and the bolt pushes it up into the chamber. So this carrier is very important. It, uh, it does look a little bent, but maybe not. We'll, once we get it put together, we'll see. Um, it's a very important part. Um, one of the things that I was going to show you the difference between the, uh, the uh, pre-64 and the post-64 uh, uh, 1894s. Oh, there it is. The pre-64, the carrier, you can see it's milled. It's milled from one piece of metal, and it uh, it's a lot sturdier. The post 64 is made of stamped metal where they had a piece of metal stamped it and it's made a lot cheaper uh, it made the guns cheaper um, and uh, quicker so very similar very similar but uh, very different also so in hobbies okay let's see what we got oh the tang. I love that word tang. Anyway, here's the tang. And what what it has on it is the spring. And the uh, the spring for the uh, post 64, which we're looking at right now, which it's weird because weird it is just barely a post 64. I mean, it was 1965. But um, it's when they, they decided to change things after uh, the company was sold. So you have a two-piece spring, and it fits up against the uh, back of the hammer. Uh, there's a little groove, and it is actually a lot easier than the post than the pre-64s, which the uh, spring is one piece, but it has a hook thing that there's a saddle that hooks up to the back, and it's a little more complicated. And they made it less complicated. So here we have the spring, the, uh, the trigger. We talked a little bit about the safety on the trigger. And how that works, um, I'm not gonna take it apart. Uh, it's it's open enough that uh, I can clean it without taking it apart. So, in the hobby. What else do we have here? That's it. It's the uh, the front sight hood. Bands going to hobbies. The little door. I'm good. I know that there's another name for this, but I, I, I call it the little door. It's a loading. I don't know, whatever. It's, it doesn't matter. And I've got all the screws here. All the screws are going in the hobbies. And the springs going in the hobbies. So that's that's all the parts. Um, the follower that goes inside the magazine. The spring pushes down on this, and th this pushes into the uh, into the rounds to push them down into the chamber, and which is an interesting thing. I don't know if I have one. No, I don't have one. We'll talk about it later about the uh, the design of the 30 30 round. Uh, it's uh, you know if you've seen 30 30. Oh wait, I'm.
we talk about the pushing down on the, uh, the, the round. Okay. 30-30 round is blunt on the end. And in some cases, depending on who makes it, they're downright rounded. Okay. And what uh, the reason for that is, with the tube magazine, you have them like this. And what had happened was with the really sharp rounds is that sometimes it would hit up against the the primer, and you'd get a spontaneous blowing up of your uh, of your magazine because your own rounds set the round ahead of it off. So what they did was they made the round smoother on top, and that way there they don't uh, they won't set off the rounds before. So it was a real problem, and uh, of course. The Winchester Company figured it out and took care of it. I do like the, the Winchester Company. Um, anyway, so that's all the parts. And all the parts are uh, are soaking. And I'm going to unlock this out later when the wife wakes up. Uh, I, uh, this is actually late for me doing my videos. Uh, normally my videos, like the ones yesterday, were started at about 2 o'clock in the morning. And uh, I have to be careful because right above me is uh, my bedroom, and my wife uh, is trying to sleep. She uh, does not share my enthusiasm for early morning gun stuff. And uh, anyway, I will uh, continue to work on the uh, stocks. I, you know, every half hour or so, I take and I wash them down with more of a stripper. And hopefully we'll be able to get underneath and get the uh, polyurethane, if that is polyurethane, we'll know here shortly. And um, we'll get, hopefully tomorrow, start staining the stocks. We get, uh, once I have a request for colors, and we'll see. Sometimes it's really hard to reproduce colors, but we'll talk about that tomorrow when we talk about staining. Okay, well, thank you. Thanks for watching. Bye.